Hey loves and welcome back to my channel. Um, I just want to say I miss you guys. I miss doing videos. I've been trying really hard to upload good content for you guys. Um, I've been trying to find really good videos to do for you guys. But I've been so busy. But one thing I have to get out of the way and I have to get done today, I'm going to do two. So you're going to see me in this shirt twice, okay? Um, the first thing that I'm going to do is a, a review for um, a, uh, what do you call them? Amuse Boucher? Amuse Bouche? Amuse Bouche? Amuse Bouche? I'm not sure how to pronounce this. I received these this box from Influencer. Um, it was absolutely free. I did not pay for it. And I'm to do a review on this. I got these products free because this is a line of lipsticks that um, are being released exclusively through Sephora. And they sent them to me for a review. Um, so it's Amuse Bouche by Bite. So I'm unboxing. Opening up the box, and it's just black tissue paper, and then there's these three uh, lipsticks inside. So, and let's get the paperwork inside of it. So this is Amuse Bucci. I like Bucci. 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 Like bougie, but Bucci. I don't know. Don't mind me. Um, it's called The Perfect Bite. And it says 34 bold dimensional shades handcrafted for highest pigmentation, ultra creamy hydrating texture made from 12 edible oils, mouth watering citrus flavor made with fresh pressed fruit. So this is the little um, flyer they had inside. Closer. See who? Yes. See who? Raquel. Okay. Then, this is what the lipsticks look like. Um, I love the packaging. It's like, if you could feel it, it feels like this nice, like, almost like rubber, but not like grippy grip. Um, grippy grip. Um, but yeah, these are cute little lipstick packagings. I appreciate them. You can tell that they're really sturdy, and they're really, really, uh, they feel good. They feel expensive. Um, I believe these retail for about $26. So to get this free, that's about like 70 something dollars worth of free products. I'm hype about. Now they sent me color beetroot. They sent me pepper. And they sent me gazpacho. I actually have pepper on my lips. And I was a little nervous about wearing pepper without like a lip liner. I had a little leftover residue from my lipstick earlier. But oh my god, when I put this lipstick on, it just glides on your lips. I mean it glides on your lips like see here's pepper look and then look it has oh, I'm trying to get close without seeing my raggedy nails look at that it says bite there and then has the B engraved on it all right yeah so that is beautiful already I love the packaging I love how they did it and it's really sturdy this lipstick is so creamy and it has like this citrusy smell to it that just smells amazing like and you can feel it kind of like tingle on your lips it's but it, it's just good like this is some good stuff like and i'm not just saying that because y'all know i'll tell you in a minute because i got one coming it ain't gonna be so good but i'm gonna say but oh my god this is great let me see that is gazpacho swap good gazpacho swatch it is a very bright red pigmented lipstick i mean amazing let me see the other one swatched and this one is called beetroot and it's like a deeper shade of red more of a purpley red and give me one second and i'm gonna go try these on for you and then come back and um show you okay i know what the heck did Ashley do? You this color here is gazpacho. This color oh. is the red, the bright red. It's like the orangish tint behind it. And this final color here is beetroot. Um, but yeah, like this one I say, this, these lipsticks are actually really good, and I actually would recommend you go out and buy them. And I believe it said that it comes in um, 34 shades. <laughs> So if this comes in 34 shades, it comes in 34 shades, then that's amazing because, like, it feels like you don't have anything on your lips. Like, you know how, like, some lipsticks, like, feel like they're laying on your lips? Like, they just feel thick and, you know? This one is so light. It, it goes on so smooth and creamy. And it's so lightweight. Like, the texture is really, really good. And it smells good. It's not, like, overpowering. You know some lipsticks 
have a smell and it's like really overpowering. <laughs> These actually don't have a smell like that. It's like you can smell the light citrusy feel and then it kind of tingles on your lips sometimes. Well, the first one did. This one did. Maybe I'm used to it now. But it's not overwhelming. Um, yeah, it's not like an overwhelming smell, but it, it's, it's great. So, I don't know. Like, I mean, I like them. I suggest that you guys go out and buy them. I think that it's a really good... Uh, it would be a good investment. And I can't wait to see the rest of the colors. If their colors are like this pigmented like the one the color I wore before gazpacho yeah her I love that one and I don't think that my color right now like my lighting in here is doing it justice of how nice and pigmented that color really is but it's like this bright it's like that if it was a matte color like I had a wet n wild lipstick like that years ago in the formula suck but the color was bomb.com it's like that bright red orange but the kind that works on my skin tone it was amazing um, and all of these colors actually look really good on um, darker skin tones. So the three that they sent me are really great. So if, if, if the color range is bomb, I really would suggest that you guys go out and buy these lipsticks. Like, they're honest to God truth. Like, I love them. And the reviews that I've seen on before, I was kind of afraid because when I first um, saw it, I thought everyone was just saying it because they got it free, you know what I mean? But... These are actually really, really good, and I think these will be worth the money. So, if you haven't tried it, go out and try it. Go out and try it. They're going to be available at Sephora. I think they come out on um, the 26th. Of, I keep saying 26th. I'm not sure why, but um, I'm going to put the release date in the description box below because I just don't know. But, yeah, this is the Amuse Bouche Bite Lipsticks. Bye.